Uh, I think you've got a wonderful facility here. It's excellent opportunities for uh, training in a realistic environment. Um, the different scenarios that you've got going, you've got an old town, which is like old buildings built with brickwork, things like that that you, can, you could experience in the real world. And you've got uh, like the new, new village here, which is uh, built with precast concrete to give you the, the other aspects of structural materials. So you've got everything you really need. There is very good opportunities to train very realistically here in Tinglev, in the southern part of Jutland. Here you actually work in a town. It, it's, not, um, it's not a display of different tasks. It's a, it's a town where you start at one end of the town and then you work your way through the town. Uh, normally, when we're conducting an exercise at home, we only have small sites, so you do your thing for like one or two hours. And now over here it's really possible to conduct a exercise for let's say three or four days, 24-7 going on, doing breaches and, and, and searching, etc. And sometimes, it, like in a real situation, it lasts for hours and hours. We're very impressed with uh, these facilities. you've got things laid out here is actually like a proper village or a small town uh, rather than just um, some places I've been to it's just been a, a site with a rubble pile and a purpose-built um, building to work on you've got this laid out in a proper village it's uh, very good I'm very um, impressed about uh, what I saw of the UNICE, UNICEF team uh, of the Netherlands and also this uh, uh, this accommodation uh, of the of the Danish uh, Emergency uh, Training Agency. Very interesting. So very good facilities. Oh yes, very. Yeah, it's, it's like deploying um, to a proper earthquake. You get given your coordinates, your GPS location that you need to go to, and you're working on like a real life situation. What it really allows us to do is making the bigger, bigger picture, uh, like you would have in an affected country with an affected population and then eventually in this big scenario bringing it down to what are you really doing and are you happy within this setting and that's what uh, here over here in Tinglev in Denmark you are providing us with and that's what we're very happy about. What is the difficulty in doing the planning on the distance? Well I don't think it's very difficult. I don't think it's very difficult. Um, we actually um, participate uh, in the, from the very conception of the idea, um, how they want to train. Uh, in the end what you do is you pick up the phone and you say, well, we want to have a major exercise, a really big exercise, which is a bit difficult to, 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 to conduct and which needs a lot of preparation. But you pick up the phone and then you do two or three reckeys. And you come together, and in this case, we, we, we came here, of course, and we discussed what we wanted to do. And then uh, Dima staff uh, provided us with a, a lot of possibilities and lots of details on how to work together and how to cooperate. And it worked, it worked out very fine. So uh, cooperation, I think, is, is, is the most uh, important part in this. You need to get together and you need to you need to exchange your views on how to conduct the exercise and, and what p possibilities there are. It's uh, typically um, an earthquake situation and from the very conception of the idea um, to um, rallying up the, the, uh, the personnel uh, in uh, the country that uh, the USAR team comes from uh, to border crossing um, and we could do that realistically because um, the, the college is only some 15 kilometers away from the Danish-German border. Um, so we work together with customs, we work together with police. Um, 
are they flying in, uh, then we, we can also uh, train realistically uh, airport management uh, so that they can um, train uh, the, uh, the departure procedures and also uh, how they enter into uh, an affected country. After all, um, it's our exercise and we, we, we ask if it would be possible to conduct the exercise in the way we want it to be, to be, to be done. Uh, and all, of course, within the regulations of safety and security. There are no difficulties in conducting the exercise the way we want it to be conducted. If other countries want to do USA training as you're doing, what would you say to them? Well, I would, I would surely recommend them to, uh, to go and have a look. Get to know each other, exchange expectations, regulations, etc. And then have a go like we did.